Speaking of police, the Batman TV show. Yes. Being produced by Matt Reeves. Yeah, so it's being produced, and I don't know if he's going to run it, but it is going to take place in the same universe as the Batman. His movie that's coming out, still no word if that's in the greater DCEU or if it's its own little pocket universe or if it's a pocket within the pocket or whatever it is. <laughs> and Palm Springs. And uh, obviously people were asking, okay, if this is a movie about the police force in Gotham City, will uh, Commissioner Gordon, or Gordon, I don't know if he's a commissioner in the Batman, play, being played by Westworld alum Jeffrey Wright, appear in the show as well? I would have to assume well, – actually, there's nothing to assume. I mean, <laughs> if they're making the series, well, do we know if it's happening concurrently with the movie? Is it before, after? We, we don't, don't know. know. We just okay. know it's in the same world. I would assume then it's going to be before, and they're going to kind of do like a Batman Year One graphic novel type situation, which focuses on Gordon and how he rises as a regular like beat cop to commissioner. And I think that's going to be more fascinating, and I think it's going to be even more fascinating – uh, it's going on the HBO Max platform, so HBO's yeah. backing it. Um, they are no strangers to police and and police brutality. Well, not even police brutality, but like just talking about social issues. They're the the big one, obviously. Uh, Watchmen series that they did was a an interesting, scary insight into our current events of the world. I think this is going to be fascinating, especially with what's happening right now. Um, if I had to guess. You're going to do it through the eyes of Gordon. He's going to see the corruption. And I don't know if they're going to go happy-go-lucky where it's like, Gordon's going to fix everything and get yeah. rid of all the scum. It's also interesting, right? Jeffrey Wright is a black actor. Yeah. Uh, and Commissioner Gordon, or Gordon, uh, from the comics is generally white. And, there were, you know, of course you have the the backlash of, oh, Gordon is, is a white character. Why are we, why are we not, you know, blah, blah, blah. Is this the same jackasses that were all pissy about... Um, uh, Idris Alba playing Heind- Heindal yep. in Thor. Yeah. Uh, just every every single Mary potential. Jane, yeah, every uh, backlash you could put potentially ever right. get. Uh, quick question. Is anyone else here, though, like really not that excited by it? Uh, like, it's a cop show. Like, well, I'm I, not, is anyone really not? Well, well I, for one, don't like cop shows. What I'm interested, I'm, what yeah. I'm interested to see is... What are they going to do differently? Well, That's so, my question. So as I mentioned earlier, right? You know, comic comic book superheroes are just generally, right, police wearing capes. And with everything that's going on in America right now, specifically with police brutality, which, uh, you know, and because superhero slash comic book movies are so popular, um, not just obviously in movies now, you're getting streaming shows, you know, you're getting all these Marvel shows, now you're getting some, some DC, HBO Max shows. Which of them are going to reflect what's happening in your current times, right? Because that's mm. that's the beauty of comic books, right? You always you have reboots and retools that really identify what's going on. Captain America came out during World War II, like he was a, like that was reflected the times, mm. uh, and then they've updated the character throughout the years. So wait, how- didn't Captain America? Uh, Stan Lee wrote the character after World War II. Uh, I think it was during World War II. Well, I mean, Stan Lee served in World War II, so. Well, he might have written it when he was serving. Oh. Anyway, your point is valid. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. The first appearance of Captain America was in March of 1941. Oh, so before? No, it's during World War II. World War II started in 1939. Oh. American involvement didn't ha- occur until 1941 after Pearl Harbor. Gotcha. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it, that history. It's 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 right there. It's it's. That is that was the height, right? Because before Pearl Harbor, there was obviously a fever fever pitch. So, um, but yeah, I'm I'm interested to see, you know, could this potential police show for the Batman go head first and really identify like here's what's going on, and is it is it something Matt Reeves maybe felt passionate about? Of okay, we kind of touch on it in the movie, but like obviously I can't reshoot the entire movie. So here's kind of my solution of like I want to reflect the times. Here's how I can do it. Hmm. That's what I'm interested to see. If it's just another superhero show or like another cop drama, cop drama, I'm out. But if it is something, I, that's I have reflective. a feeling it's going to be reflective because we, like I said, we saw what HBO did with Watchmen. Like that wasn't even reflective. That was prophetic. Like that really, like well, not, not that obviously police brutality has been around, right? But yeah, it's never it's been, been around. Yeah, it's not been. It's not been. I feel like in terms of the superhero genre, that was the first one yeah. that really yeah. took it on, and it. Re- 
right before the fever pitch. And um, we also like the, because of the show, there was actual like action. Things were actually like people because a lot of Americans did not know about the Tulsa um, massacre, massacre, and everything that happened back in the twenties. And because of the show, a lot of people were like, "Well, what the fuck are we doing?" And it got recognized. I'm pretty yeah. sure because of the show. Yep. So, yep. So I think I think. If HBO is smart and they're they are on the list of the many many brands that back in early June were like we're gonna do things better we're going to you know give uh, black voices we're going to X Y and Z. Granted, it gets a little tricky when it comes to the police, mm. um, but I still think it is something that we should look into and like pay attention to. Yeah. 